just a heads up this video is going to be pretty long 20 minutes plus we're going to be talking about nadia and wuda's one month love affair ddg's cousin payway Tio did an interview recently and he talked about how he didn't like that ddg exposed some things to the public about him in this video, you're also going to see Ruby Rose says she miss her ex. So yesterday I did a Q&A on my Instagram. And one of the questions was, why didn't I cover Payway Tio's interview? And that I'm trying to protect DDG. And I'm like, just send me the timestamps, sir. Like, I didn't see the interview. So here we are. Now, to give y'all some backstory, Pei Weitio and DDG are cousins by blood. And about a year ago or so, they was going, not really back and forth, but uh, Pei Weitio was on live expressing his feelings, saying things that DDG done did to him off camera. Um, And then eventually, I mean, I don't know who started it, but eventually uh, DDG addressed it on his stream like he he talked about it multiple times but we're gonna play a little clip just to like refresh our memory but to i don't f with to i don't f with that don't think nothing nothing that i say about to or none of that that shit is real i do not f with that that nigga is not doing no business with me ain't doing none of that don't tell me what he's saying on live none of that shit that all right, so that was pretty much DDG saying that he don't mess with T.O. And this is after T.O. went live multiple times talking about the family and things like that. Now we're going to look at a video that Payway T.O. uploaded to YouTube. I mean, saying real shit, saying real life shit that happened to me and shit like that. Like, you don't speak on no shit like that. That's just like, a nigga robbed me when I was like 14, 15 years old. A nigga I used to be cool with, he robbed me over some. Are you a brand new content creator and don't know where to start? Want to gain subscribers and views, but don't know the basics on how to gain a following on social media? Are yes. you looking to become a successful streamer, a YouTuber, TikToker, media outlet? Well, welcome to Clout School, where we guarantee all of our custom viral social media strategies work consistently on every social media platform. And we teach you how to obtain the clout that you desire. We tell you what to post, when to post, what content works in your niche, hashtags, titles, and descriptions. All created organically because AI currently can't help you with the algorithm of clout. Welcome to clout class, ladies and gents. Let us become the professors you need to succeed. Hit us up now on my IG at Kierchne or email us at truvstudios at gmail.com and text I need clout. You know, it's Carter your bus over six dollars. It's petty. Like who give and then speak out on I ain't do shit. Like that's just some police. Like, you ain't do shit, you know what I mean? So don't be pinning that shit in the ear. Like, I don't like, I just, like, y'all, a lot of y'all niggas don't understand what I'm saying. Like, I just wasn't feeling that off rip before the video, faking whatever, whatever type of shit you trying to do. I wasn't feeling that regardless of the fact. So I did something, you know, and regarding, like, oh, this the same shit you saying. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it never was about getting kicked out of the studio. I could care less about getting kicked out of the studio. It never was about that. That's what I'm trying to let y'all niggas understand. Like, nigga, who do you think I'm gonna be mad because the nigga kicked me out of the studio? I'm not still pulling the same views. Oh, yeah, so he said kicked out of the studio. So, T.O. was signed to DDG's entertainment company called Zooted. But this is the interview, y'all. This interview was from two weeks ago. Now, the first clip we're gonna look at is the interview guy asked him about the family splitting up so what's going on with like you and your family and shit i mean my family like who, who? people been saying like it seemed like y'all been like parting ways for real like everybody I mean, ain't been together the way they used to you mean like you gotta understand like i was the youngest nigga out the la crew like before like when the shade before the shade came in the picture like the shade never used to hung around us like when we always do videos branch off we always do videos like with flight all them niggas we had like but he never like we started hanging with the shade probably like two years but we all in school with the shade live in the same little area but never used to hang with him like that but i was like the youngest nigga down there so 
I used to learn a lot from them niggas and shit like that, like from everybody, LA crew, my family and shit like that. But sometimes niggas just drift apart, bro, for real. It's just like a lot of certain shit, like the little beef we got in and shit like that. Nigga, it just, it's just like a lot of shit was said, you can't forgive people for. But a nigga be cordial for sure, cause family, like I love them niggas at the end of the day, but right. it's just like a lot of niggas like did shit for the internet, said shit, a lot of shit you can't take back. So right. once you go out there, say some shit, pitch some shit, I can't fuck with that. Cause I'm a little bit different. Now, T.O., I think he's about to talk about, because I watched this and I like wrote down the timestamps. Um, y'all know T.O. was dating V. He dated her for about three or four years. And then eventually she cheated. I'm not sure if he cheated as well, but that was really heavy on his mental. So during the breakup is, and he was, so he was dealing with catching your girl cheating and uh beefing with ddg online and offline because ddg exposed that to had got robbed when he was younger i don't remember seeing a clip of that but i'm assuming he said it like in one of the videos in a joking way so the la crew ddg the shade dub all of them they like to they're trolls they like to joke around sometimes they hit below the belt so ddg must have brought that robbery thing up to hit below the belt but he said it in a joking manner but it's like that's a that's using your words as like a weapon like no nah, i don't take shit lightly so you're when not niggas trying say, to forgive no nah, like i forgive for- people like my mom already taught me like <coughs> forgive but i don't ever forget like if a nigga did some whole shit then you steady keep doing whole shit ain't no right. point of me keep trying to be around them or you feel what i'm saying but like like i'm cool with my family type shit but a lot of shit was here like nine months ago and then I feel like I was abandoned at my like my lowest time in my life when I needed family. Like I was right. down there in Cali by myself in the crib. Like I don't know if niggas remember this live. Like I was going live, going crazy on niggas. Like I was really in there, like going through a mental health breakdown, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I broke up with my girl, I found out my girl, caught her with a nigga and shit. Um <clears throat> tried to drop flowers off one day, caught her with a nigga. Woo, that shit fucked me up. Then I'm beefing with my family, bro. So it's just like that shit was that shit hit different, like J Main said. That shit hit different though. When I was going through that shit, niggas wasn't near for me type shit. So it just like I feel like I was bending at my the time when I really needed my family and I was well, why by do you myself. Feel like they would have like why did they feel like why do you feel like they abandoned you though? Not really abandoned not, you, but like because like wasn't all the shit there. that was going like I went on live, I said some shit, but niggas was saying shit off camera though. Like a lot of niggas was saying shit off camera. Like a lot of shit happened off camera. Like we do that little fake series and shit like that. Not fake, but like. Like, with us, bro, we really think out shit. Like, that's right. why niggas fuck with our family so much, because, like, we never needed, like, to collab with nobody. Like, all I need is my cousins and all that shit. Everybody did it together. Everybody did it together. So, when you come up with series and shit like that, that shit would be cool. We just come up with series, playing out, mapping out like this, but you end up turning, like, into some real shit. Like, mm. niggas said some shit that I couldn't fuck So, yeah, the series that DDG and his family does uh, ended up causing issues because the the series is probably like similar to real life you know like you're using your imagination but in order to use your imagination you gotta use things that you're familiar with things that you've been through so you take a scenario and then turn it into content and then the content probably trigger emotions and now you guys have real life issues when it was supposed to just be for content Fuck with like hey, off camera. Yeah, well, I think I said on live. Like he said some shit out, like I got robbed and shit like that. So I'm mm. like, oh, that shit went too far. Like they really did get robbed. So it was like it was no point of you. Oh, like saying that making shit. it a joke. Yeah, making really it a joke. Like, but it's not no joke to me. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So I was just like, I couldn't fuck with that. But we got into a little bit off some other shit that I ain't gonna speak on. Like got into it at his house and shit like that. <laughs> right after, like we do filming a video for the like, YouTube and shit. But we really did get into it. Like we faking on YouTube. They really did. So you talking it. about DDG, right? So but like Dub, like like I got back cool. Like Moog, he I'm cool with him. He mm-hmm. cool. I like we scraping that situation out, but like I said, <coughs> just a lot of shit that can't. You feel me? Can't yeah. forgive for. What about Dub? Dog? Dub cool. It's just like Dub. Dub did some shit too. Like niggas be doing shit off camera. Like yeah. fans don't be knowing what's be going on in real life. Niggas just be thinking shit all like me. Everything on the floor for real. So it's just like me. Everybody already know. Like me, bro. I don't fake shit with nobody. Even when I did YouTube, I don't fake shit. I don't. I'm live sugarcoat shit with nobody. Like, Dub, you my family, you my dick, you my. So, um, yeah, I think that's all the clips that we have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. Sum it up. He said 
He's still cool with Moo, which is DDG. He's still cool with Dub, even though Dub did some snake stuff. And this is the whole oh family. Like people be feeling like just because somebody is your family member that you have to like, always be cool with them. When somebody show you their character and they're not doing anything to change and elevate and become a better person, they ain't doing no, they ain't going to church, they ain't reading no Bibles, they ain't reading no books. They're just like uh, increasing like money <laughs> and fame and status. Money, fame, and status don't build character. If anything, it just reveals who you really are. So don't ever think just because someone is related to you by blood that you got to still be cool with them. Sometimes you got to cut family off to better yourself because the family member is just very toxic. And if you are trying to elevate, you cannot be connected to toxic family members because they're just going to snake you again um looks like nadia and wuda's three week love affair is over um this is crazy because it looked like they they didn't fell in love or she fell in love with him or he fell in love with her after three weeks to a month and now everything is tumbling down because she was still talking to other dudes allegedly i think that's what it's looking like and then Wuda was still talking to Lena, which is his ex, and spending time with her. So we're going to take a look at some highlights because Wuda's video is one hour. Nadia's video is 40 minutes. So we're going to just look at the highlights and see what what happened, y'all. The first argument happened, boom. We ended up going bowling. We came back from bowling and they argued again. Because I guess Uri's ex texted Wuda some hours later and it just made the fire heat up again. So they was arguing again in the room. I'm like, oh my God, this shit. And Wuda ends up saying like, I can go get a few more for you right now. I'm I'm thinking he trolling like, because who you going to get? Type shit. So then he ended up going downstairs and he ended up bringing Lena upstairs. And I'm just confused, and I'm looking like, what was she brought up here to do? Like, not even on no, like, fight and stuff, but, like, generally, what were you going to do? Because <laughs> cause when we was at the bowling alley after the whole argument thing, Lena was telling Ori exactly what Ori should have said to get under Wuda's skin. So when I seen, I seen her come upstairs, I'm just looking like, there's no way you finna buck up about him, but you was telling my homegirl what to say to get under his skin. Like... That threw me all the way off. So I'm just like, so you just brought your ex up here over this little ass argument. But yeah, you just showed your hand over this little ass argument. And oh, so Nadia was arguing with Wuda. And Wuda don't want to put his hand on the female. So it's like, all right, I'm going to bring my ex up here to take care of you, Nadia. What? That wasn't even throwing me off. It was the fact that Lena was on the bed talking about some, I'm the bitch you always going to get. Da, 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 da. It's always gonna be me, whoop de whoop, and I'm just sitting there like, and he's agreeing, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> it's raps for you. So this clip say Nadia says she saw Wuda and Lena leave together. So Lena is like, you know how how some dudes got, and some females as well, they have that one ex that they ain't over yet, but then they they start dating somebody else, but they still uh is tied to that one ex so lena looks like she's that one ex for wuda so nadia wasn't gonna be able to compare or compete with lena anyway lena probably right lena know that she is top dog for now until we want to find somebody to replace lena hey i mean after that little argument happened i ended up packing all my stuff i left them being being i was going to ori house i'm texting wuda whatever he's like barely responding He's not answering my calls. I told him I was going to come over there. And I have access to get in his apartment on my phone. When I looked on my phone, he logged me out. So I'm just thinking like, all right, that's weird. My he logged you. <laughs> oh, Wuda was, he was about to do something. He was about to do something he wasn't supposed to do. We're going to finish letting Lena, uh, Ooh, she gonna ain't shame like that. We gonna let uh, Nadia finish talking, and then we gonna read these these DMs. 
because Nadia leaked some DMs of, I think, this situation. Mind y'all, I left this part out. After the third argument, after the argument where he brought Lena upstairs, they left the B&B with each other. They left the B&B with each other. So when he was doing all this, not answering my calls, not texting me back, removing me off access to his apartment, it ain't nothing else I'ma think, but is she at your house? That's all I'ma think. You know what I'm saying? And from there, that's when it really started bugging me because it's like, all right, you made me seem crazy for not messing with you 110%, but you're showing me why I'm not messing with you 110%. So, boom, I'm like, all right, like, like what's like what's up? Like, is she at your house? Like, and he's not answering me, whatever. Um, Next day, you know, I ended up not talking to him because I, I went to sleep thinking the girl was at his house. You know, he let me go to sleep like that. Even if she wasn't, he let me go to sleep like that. My mind was wandering wild that whole night. So the next day, you know, I didn't talk to him, but I ended up seeing him at the whole stream thing. We ended up having a sit down, whatever. After the sit down on stream, we went into my car and we had an actual sit down with just us. And, you know, this was when I started telling him, like, this was when I started piecing everything together. And I was telling him, like, bro, like, you got mad at me for not giving you 110%, which I understand. But it's like, now that I'm realizing. But you still stuck on your ex, Suda. This was not going to work. This was just a little month fling. And now look. But y'all young, so. It's normal. But it should not be normal. This is toxic. This should not be happening. We got to fix this why I couldn't give you 110%. It's because at the back of my mind, I knew what it was with you from the jump. Like, I knew you wasn't over your ex. I knew y'all had some dealings. Like, and it was like, I still try to force myself to be with him after peeping the red flags. But it's like, I'm not going to mess with you the same after I peep something. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. All right. So I'm going to play some background music for y'all. And I'm going to put these um, text messages that Nadia posted Nadia is in the black and then Wuda is in the blue I'm letting you know this now Wuda I'm on my way so if you got anyone over there you know what is up she like I'm about to go off Wuda say he's not home Two, I don't care no more. You don't care, so I don't either. Have a good night. Nadia said, nah, we finna talk. Know that. So she probably driving over there. Fuming. Buddha said, I'm not coming back over there. Nadia said, you most definitely are home because I just called the front desk. Lie again. <laughs> she said, lie again. Come outside. Bet I'm coming up. Buddha, don't, don't blow me right now. Where you at? You with her? I'm at your apartment. You see why my energy being so off with you. I just listened to my first mind. So her body, her mind is telling her, I've been here. Your body is, your body, like everything you go through, your body, like your brain remembers it. So when she gets into a familiar situation, her body is telling her, girl, this is what happened last year with this dude. You know, so this is why you can never get away with cheating. Because your brain remembers being cheated on. So, yeah. Or not even cheating, just messing with somebody else. They call it, they call it women intuition. Um, Wuda said, what is you talking about? Stop trying to GAF when you don't continue to not GAF. All right, I'm a, uh, y'all can pause and read the rest of these, um, these text messages. This is so toxic. What is this? Living room? Disarmed? <laughs> Download the app? Oh, they got y'all giving each other access to what is this? What is, tell me what this is. All right, so now it says Nadia says Wuda. Lied to her about Lena spending the night at his crib. This little talk in the car, 
I asked him, like, so did Lena stay the night at your house? Like, did she go to your house, whatever? He was like, no, right after that, I took her home. So I was like, okay, cool. Boom. After the whole stream, pajama stream thing, we ended up going back to the B&B. I was talking with Ori and Arion in the car. His cameraman came up over here, and, you know, he got in the car with us. We was talking. And then the whole topic of Wuda and Lena came up. And I was like, RTB, if you wasn't Wuda's friend, would you look at me like a d for going back to him? He was like, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but that's my homeboy. I can't think of it like that. So I was like, okay. But, you know, if I had my ex at my house, I would be in the wrong, right? He was like, yeah. So then I did this. So Lena was at his house. Correct me if I'm wrong. He was like, yeah. So after that, I did exactly this. And I waited for him to get out the car. And I looked back to Ori. I said, I didn't know Lena stepped in out of his house. And she was like, oh. And Arion was like, swear to God. I was like, yeah. Buddha told me she didn't. Buddha said that he dropped her off right after. So I'm like, all right, this dude just lied to me. Like, what's up? All right. So y'all know um, Wuda had to speak out. So it says. People calling my phone. Wuda X, Y, and Z. No way you did this to Nadia. This to the third. Nadia, keep this shit a bean from the rip, gang. You talking about I scream at females and this to the third. My right hand up to the Lord himself. If I raise my tone to a female individual, it's for a reason, bro. I would never hit nobody. I would never buck at nobody. I'm not that, and you can't put that on me because I'm not that person. If I'm screaming at you, I'm screaming towards you because you're hurting my feelings, bro. I'm expressing to you, why do you have to talk to me like that? Why do you have to make me feel this way? Like, I watched the whole video, and the whole video wasn't even about me, for real. It's what you was doing in my face the whole time. Y'all, I'm trying to I'm trying to let y'all know what she did in that video was... Like, she she did that in real life type of life. Y'all hear how many times she brought up my ex-girlfriend's name? That was every day after Lena had left inside of my car. People calling my phone. <laughs> uh, yeah. Duh. That's the whole issue. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? If you guys are supposed to be vibing, but you still vibing with your ex, low key then that consumes nadia's whole mind the whole month y'all talked that's why every time y'all probably had an argument she brought up who your ex all right this is a response to rumor about him and nia who's nia so you was it a rumor that uh wuda slept with nia let's see in this particular situation i'm only speaking about this because it is fraudulent activity going on this is false accusations you feel me now before I really get too, 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 too deep into me and Nadia's situation, I just want y'all to know something. If I don't speak about something or clear it up constantly, y'all have to understand, bro, I've grown out of clearing my name up, bro. I've grown out of doing it. That's why I, I, I sometimes do it. I don't do it all the time. Like the he say, she say going around saying that I had sex with Nia. Come on, bro. Like, I don't even know why people started that rumor and trying to throw a rock and hide their hand i don't understand that but in that whole entire situation i looked at it from a third person perspective like why would they do that to me on some like especially when it's not even that deep i'm just going around hearing that people saying that i'm lying on my and all that x y and z like come on bro like i'm like i'm getting too grown and old to be going through this internet stuff bro i know y'all in real life I know everybody in real life. Just cause I don't mess with, like, just cause I don't mess with people or be around people, people go to the internet and I don't understand why people do that. I have a lot of stuff to handle, a lot of stuff going on for myself, me personally, you feel me? And I just don't appreciate how people are so quick to turn on a camera or so quick to post on their Instagram story and talk bad on someone's name. That's an image that you're trying to mess up. You can't mess up my image because I'm too real. Oh my God, this video is going to be probably long. But, um, well, Wuda spoke out. He said he did not mess with not, uh, Nia. He said, don't be putting no bodies on him. That's not on him. Now, I'm going to let y'all listen to this live of Messy Maj and Wuda on TikTok. I think this is TikTok Live. 
I'm just gonna play the whole live. Well, not the whole live. Whatever, you know, is right here. Y'all yeah, leave y'all comments below on this whole situation. This is young, young, toxic love. And um, I just hope that everybody involved heals because even though their little love affair lasted for a month, it still leaves an imprint on their hearts, you know, and it affects the next relationship and the next relationship. So, yeah, man, it happens. I wasn't even going ever let nobody see that. But oh, it's an exclusive video. Like, don't sit up here and lie and act like I talk to no female crazy. Any girl I ever deal with, know that, man. If I'm expressing something to you and I'm hurt, I'm crying in your face, bro, and you cursing me the f bro. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to share my screen. Look at this. Let me see. So 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 Wuda, in this in this situation, did you hear about the allegation of her having some relations while being with you and someone in the influencer city house? Be blunt about it. You just kind of like coded. I know. There, allegedly, there was some form of a maybe threesome that was involved. With me? No, not with you, but with someone else. Oh, for sure I heard that, but I didn't charge her for it. I don't believe he say, she say, so like, mm. that's not the type of nigga. Like, I, the video I was just showing you, I basically, I talked to her because she was texting a and hunt. I don't care, bro. I stand on whatever the f*** you feel me. Mm. Like, she was texting and I seen it. And I was like, this what you want? Like, you text my face? Like, she said, we don't date. I do it. Collab. I said... It's not a matter of us dating, not it. It's just that's what you would do to a it's taking you serious. Like I'm not even talking to nobody. Like Thanks. I'm not talking to no chick gang. Like I'm vibing. Like 
Mark, I even told you face to face in front of the BNB, like I was really down for this girl. Like, swear mm -hmm. to God, I told you that to your face. And collab, I said, it's not a matter of us dating, not it. It's just that's what you would. Hey. <laughs> Wooda was like, uh, um, what Wooda say? Wooda was like, what you say? Wooda was like, um. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, Nadia. I don't mean to be this messy. I'm just, I'm not trying to be messy. No, but he was just like, um, he he played a little video, and you know, he basically was just saying that he took you serious and you wasn't fucking with him taking you serious and how you was like he don't need to treat you like you're the only girl in the world and this and that and all this other crazy stuff. Oh my god. So. Wait, Look, like I said specifically, is I said he's moving like I'm the only girl in the world, which is cool. Like I'm not saying that was a bad thing, but and he banned you, and he banned you from the apartment complex. Hey. He did. <laughs> he did, but that was like after the fact. I had called Cam that day, but I was like. Like, what the fuck? Like, what are you, what are you doing? And it's crazy you did that because right after that, I was just over his house. Like, right after he banned me, mm -hmm. I was right back up there getting my packages from him. And he said, he said that RTB never said that he, Lena was over there. Yes, he did. Or he has the whole fucking auto record. You lying. I promise to God. I'm about to. Should I wake it up on Instagram? Because the people want me to go Instagram live. They keep telling me to wake the tea up. This, that, and the third. He was just on the phone. They heard him talking. It's just too much. I mean, we could. You know me. I don't care because you get that tape from Oreo. Yeah, I'm going to tell her to send it. Because she was recording a conversation between her and Ariane. Like how I said, we was in a car with her. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a listen to this clip of Ruby on stream with Neon. Y'all know recently she was on his stream. So they've been kicking it, but I don't think it's nothing more than a friendship. As you can see, her hat says, we're just friends. I miss my ex. Seriously? I do. Who? You don't, you don't know. Yeah, right? Don't get her started. Damn. What a piece of shit. What did he, uh, sorry, never mind, I'm not going to get too deep. Uh, what did he do to you? Um, I can't tell. Damn. All right. Yeah, but it happens. He's probably, yeah, he's probably down bad right now, but, uh, like, just hoping to get you back, probably beating his pictures. Damn, I don't know, maybe. Is he a killer? I don't think so. Okay, good. So she says she missed her ex, but she did not name drop. I would guess that is DDG because. A few days ago, she was on Twitter and she was talking about vlogging. And now that tweet is like no longer there. So DDG is the one that got her onto vlogging. So this is how the mind works. If you're thinking about something that your ex put you on, then you're going to miss that person because you're thinking about the vlogging. Vlogging, DDG, DDG, vlogging. Get it? Got it? Good.